Hi Libra, my SI Libra. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is Queen of Wands. Uh, 11, 11, uh, here to do y'all love reading for August 6, 2024. So I had a good time, y'all. I celebrated my birthday August the 3rd. Y'all send your girls some birthday shout outs. Send me some purple hearts in the comment section. Give me some birthday love, all right? <clears throat> Libra, I didn't forget about y'all, okay? So let's get into y'all love reading and see what's coming through for August 6, 2024. We are in Mercury Retrograde as of yesterday. It was the start of Mercury Retrograde, so you already know what that means, all right? Yeah. Welcome back to the channel if you're coming back. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Now, if this reading does not resonate with you now, this could be a prediction reading for the near future. So just take what messages resonate with you guys and leave the rest for another Libran. All right. Let's see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love. What does the universe want you guys to know? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North No, It's been raining all day, y'all. Let me know if it's been raining in your area, too. Surrender. Okay, so I do see you surrendering to the universe. Okay, you're letting go of things that no longer serve your highest good. You could be letting go of stress, anxiety, depression, drama, exes. You're releasing, okay? You're giving up things that you don't need in your life. Yeah, and I feel like you're being patient. So that is good energy, all right? So I do see travel here. You could be traveling or finding new ways to travel here, okay? I do see you setting healthy boundaries. You could be going on a getaway to a resort or the beach. You could be going on vacation. But I feel like you're at a distance from somebody here, Okay, you distance yourself from somebody. You guys are far away from each other, far apart. You may have a tattoo on your shoulder or on your wrist here. Um, could be your arm, Libra. Ex-lover is in your energy. So I do see you guys are in separation. They're thinking about the past, the memories. They're nostalgic. I feel like this ex is going through a spiritual awakening they're being enlightened to what they had with you they're having an epiphany do you hear that rain there's life lessons that they're learning and I feel like this person is experiencing a rebirth Libra let's see what the universe wants you guys to know oh these cards are upright this person realizes that you're their soulmate. So they're having an epiphany about this connection. Um, you guys have a strong soul connection. A soul contract was created with two of you. I feel like this is a twin flame or somebody you had a past life with. Okay. I do see this is somebody that you broke up with. Yeah. So you guys are in separation. I feel like you've ended this relationship or you could be ending this relationship. Um, it's over. You walked away from this person. I feel like this person misses being intimate with you. Okay. Or you broke up with this person because they had a one night stand with somebody else. And they're getting karma with divine intervention being here. I do see this person um, causes you a lot of stress, anxiety. You could have been depressed over this situation. Restless. I do see this person is going to hit you up with a text message, phone call, DM, email. They may be drunk. This person drinks for some of you. All right. So I do see this person reaching out to you, wanting to talk, wanting to FaceTime, wanting to call you. They're going to get the bravery and the confidence to do this, but they could be intoxicated for some of you or just have some very odd behavior here. So let's see what messages the universe wants you guys to know. Reconcile is at the bottom of the deck. One more shuffle and then we're going to get into this spread. You guys remember, 
to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. Let's see. What does the universe want you guys to know when it comes to love for August 6, 2024? August 6, 2024. August 6, 2024. Libra. What does the universe want you guys to know? Jezebel. So this person has a Jezebel spirit or they could be dealing with a Jezebel. Like prostitutes or... You know, um, exotic dancers. Yeah, I feel like you're not happy with this person. This person could be promiscuous. Yeah, they don't make you happy. I feel like um, this person may have bad credit. They're unemployed. They're in debt. They owe credit cards, banks money. They have no money. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what the universe wants you guys to know. Libra. Libra. Yeah, they're not happy how their life is going. This person is selfish, stubborn, arrogant, has a lot of pride and ego. They wanted things to go their way. They wanted to control the relationship. Somebody contracted an STD here. So I don't know if this person gave you an STD or if they got one themselves. But somebody is burning, itching, and scratching over here. Okay? Blistering and bleeding. All right, let's see. What messages is coming through? What does the universe want you guys to know? So this person uh, may have caught this STD by somebody they had a one night stand with or a casual relationship or a fling. Some of you feel like this was just a sexual connection that you had with this person. Could have been casual. All right, as well. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person left you hanging with no closure, no contact. They left you on red. I feel like, yeah, this person is learning some karmic lessons. Okay. Yeah, they had their options open. They kept their options open. And I feel like they saw you as an option as well. Hmm. Libra. Give me more messages for Libra. Sun, moon, are rising. Venus and North Node. What does the universe want you guys to know? <clears throat> You're moving for some of you. Or you've already moved. You could be buying a house, selling a house, moving to a different city state, changing careers. Or you just left this toxic relationship and going towards a fresh start in your life. Oh, somebody's unsure of their sexuality, Libra. Somebody's bisexual on the DL. Okay, somebody's in the closet. You may have had your suspicion that this person was into other men or other women. But somebody's on the DL. They're not sure what they want. Okay, they're unsure of their sexuality. Hmm. Yeah, they're keeping secrets about this from you. For some of you. I feel like those of you who knew, like you suspected that this person was in this energy. Yeah, you blocked this person. Or you getting ready to block them. For some of you, they blocked you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, somebody could be trying to do a love spell. Trying to call you back in. So when they call you, you can answer. Or have you reach out to them. Because you blocked them. You're fed up with this person's energy. You're fed up with them. Okay. Okay. They miss being intimate with you. I feel like some of y'all, the police got involved. You called the police. They called the police. Maybe you went to get an order of protection. Or they got in trouble with the law. They're regretting everything they did to you. They're regretting everything they said to you massively. They have big regrets here of how they treated you. <sighs> Let's get one more spread. Uh, one more oracle. And then we're going to get into the tarot. Regret came out when I split the deck. This person is in regret over you. Yeah, but I feel like you are seeking for your inner peace right now. Okay, that's what you have, inner peace. Okay, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. All right, they want a new beginning with you. But I, yeah, I feel like they're in regret. They're in regret. They're stressed out. They're missing you. 
Okay, they could be wondering if you're going to chase after them or reach out to them. I do feel like you blocked this person. Could be from your YouTube account, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter account. You're blocking fake accounts. There could have been some drama online. This person may have had a fake uh, social media account. All right, yeah, I feel like this person comes with the stress, right? They brought you a lot of stress into your life. And I feel like you are moving forward and starting a brand new beginning. Yeah, see, secrets. This person is keeping secrets from you. And I feel like it was stressing you out. Tell me about these secrets. What does Libra need to know about these secrets here? Why do people feel like they need to hide things like... They didn't want you to know, or if you know this person's secrets, they don't want you to say anything about it. Too much work. So you feel like this relationship was too much work. You feel like it was too much stress. You could be working really hard and you got a lot of documents on your desk and you feel like you're working too much. You have too much to do. Or it's just this relationship was just too hard. It was just too much work. This person wasn't putting in as much work as you and you were stressing out. Yeah, you're walking away. For some of you, you could be going to the beach. This person could be locked up in prison, jail, or they're just in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts. But they're in their head about you. They're thinking about you. And I feel like you're unbothered with this energy. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all smoke cigarettes. All right, but they can't let you go. They're bothered because you're unbothered and they can't let you go. But they got some reckless behavior. And I feel like you don't want to deal with somebody who has reckless behavior. For some of you, you may have found yourself being reckless after um, this breakup. Maybe going to the club, going to a party or something like that. Yeah, somebody here has money issues. They could be filing for bankruptcy, going bankrupt, or they're just spending too much money. This person is confused. They're confused because you blocked them. You're unbothered. It's like you're detached and they don't understand why. They're confused about their money issues too. But I feel like they just don't know how to save. They spend too much. Could be spending a lot on this alcohol right here with liquid courage. Liquid courage. What's this? They're confused because they know they have to learn some lessons and I feel like they don't want to. They're contemplating on if they should go through this dark night of the soul or not. I feel like they spying on you. They keeping a close eye on you. They could be contemplating like contacting you from a fake page or an unknown number of some sort. They could be contemplating coming to visit you. Whether it's your home, if they know where you live, or your job, if they know where you work. Yeah, they're doing some heavy duty thinking right here. So let's get some tarot, as promised. Let's get some tarot. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And send your girl some birthday wishes in the comment section down below. Turn your post notifications on to all. Hit that bell and click all. So you guys will be notified every time I am on. If you're a new subby, let me know in the comment section down below. All right. What does the tarot have for you? What is the universe? Oh, well, damn. <laughs> I can't take that. But somebody here is like falling apart. My deck just, a bunch of cards just fell. Somebody life falling apart. Somebody's emotions is out of control. Somebody got a lot they want to say to you. They have a lot they want to tell you. I feel like a lot is going to be exposed about this person. Or it has already been. The four of wands. This can mean a lot of things. First of all, you could be moving. Congratulations. You could have already moved. You could be getting a new house. You could be celebrating. It could be a birthday party. Could be um, renovating, remodeling a home. Could be redecorating a home. 
or you could just be happy. Some of y'all could be invited to a wedding ceremony, or you could be hearing the news of somebody getting engaged. You could be in a relationship with uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, or this person is already in a relationship. We're going to see what this is. Ace of Wands, this is somebody new. Or this is somebody here, a fire sign, who wants a brand new passionate beginning with you. They miss being intimate with you. Yeah, they're definitely going to reach out to you with some good news or a message. Page of Wands, more fire energy. A lot of fire energy here. This person could be locked up with that Eight of Swords that I just saw. If this is a new relationship, you guys could be flirting with somebody. Yeah, see, this person tried to move on from you because you moved on from them. You distanced yourself away from them. You're moving on to a place of peace and calmer waters. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They tried to move on from you, but I feel like they're being divinely guided back towards you for a second chance. All right, so they want a second chance with you. Could be a Scorpio here, but I feel like somebody could be traveling to court or... Um, you're making a final judgment call. Somebody's having an awakening about you with this judgment. What is this judgment? Somebody could be facing judgment as well. Somebody could be under judgment. Tell me more. What is this judgment here? <clears throat> they feel like you're the one that can make them happy. You make them very happy. They feel like you emotionally fulfill them. They see a future with you. Yeah. Could be a Leo. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio with this Ten of Cups. They do see a future with you. But I feel like you're being very cold, detached. Putting your emotions to the side. Being very practical, analytical. Making a head over heart decision here. Alright. You're making some sort of head over heart decision. What is this head over heart decision that Libra is making? Oh. Oh. King of Wands in the reverse. Some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. <clears throat> or, I feel like you're being cold and detached towards this person. Giving them the cold shoulder because this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too with the King of Wands in reverse. This person is a player, a play at. You feel like they played you. This person is somebody who is reckless, has reckless behavior. Somebody here who's a bully, who's bossy, they're arrogant. This person sleeps around. For some of you, yeah, they sleep around with a lot of different people. They're ruthless. They're selfish. Mm -mm -mm. This is a forceful, manipulative type of person who has control issues here. Libra. Damn. It's raining pretty hard outside, huh? Tell me more about this King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you're not attracted to this person. You don't have as much passion for them as you used to. The Hierophant. This person could be married or in a committed relationship. Or you're learning some lessons here. When you dealt with this person, you realize that you were learning some lessons. This relationship was a lesson. This could be speaking of an organization, group, job. You could be spiritual. You could be religious. You could be uh, getting advice about this person. I feel like you're rushing in towards them with some news or a message. You're giving this person a piece of your mind with the king of, with the knight of swords. I feel like you're um, telling this person how it is. You know, you're getting something off of your chest here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, yeah, you guys may end up having a heated discussion or an argument like before you block them. Or they could be contacting you some other way. Maybe you're rushing in toward them. And sending them some news or a message very uh, fast. You're coming in very, very quickly here. Okay. Could be a Gemini or another Libra or Aquarius that you're speaking to. You will be talking to this person sooner than you think. Okay. I feel like... Um, let me see. Oh... Why is this uh, Five of Cups in the reverse? Hold on. Let me get some more uh, 
let me get some um, clarification here. And then we're going to break this down. Why is the Five of Cups in the reverse for Libra? Why is the Five of Cups in the reverse? Okay. <clears throat> the devil. At the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. More fire energy. I feel like when you come in with this news, this message, it's going to be a heated discussion or an argument. You may curse this person out and I feel like you're not going to give a fuck. You're not acting like you don't give a fuck. You don't. I feel like you are letting go of things and moving on. You're not crying. You're not sad. You feel like this person doesn't regret whatever they did or they're not remorseful for what they did. You feel like they have no remorse. So this person is feeling like you have no remorse for them. I feel like yeah, you just don't care. You're not in your feelings. You're not in the blues about this person. You know, because you know this person is emotionally manipulative. Okay, they're an emotional manipulator. And I feel like this person's emotions is all over the place. They're um, emotionally imbalanced. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Yeah. The devil. This person is very much attached to you. It could be a Capricorn. This person is toxic, low vibrational. Addicted to sex, alcohol, drugs. They feel like you and them is bound to each other. They're very attached to you. They're addicted to you. They're obsessed with you. And I feel like you are putting your foot down, taking a stance. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're defending yourself. You may have accused them of something or they could have accused you of something. This person may have gotten upset with you and accused you of something. But I feel like you are blocking this person. You know, I feel like you are setting healthy boundaries here. Yeah. And you're closing this cycle out. It's over. You're done with this. Whoever this uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo is. I feel like this is somebody from your past. Could be like a soulmate connection or somebody you had a past life with. Yeah, I'm going to get one more. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to loosen my bra. That thing was tight. Okay. So... This person is reminiscing about you. They're thinking about the past. Their feelings are like nostalgic. I feel like they do want to reconcile with you. But you have distanced yourself from this person. Y'all at a distance from one another. So this person may live on the other side of the world. Across the waters. Or you just at a distance. Yep. You're giving this person the silent treatment. You put this to rest. Y'all not talking. Yep, Queen of Swords. You on your no nonsense, no bullshit type energy. You cut this person off indefinitely. And I feel like you was invested in this person too. You was planting seeds. Like, you was planting seeds in this relationship. You wanted to see this relationship grow. All right? You was all in. But I feel like you are putting this to rest. So you already did. Yeah. You're resting. You're at peace. You're, re you're recuperating, rejuvenating your thoughts here. You know, some of y'all could be getting a lot more sleep or you need to get some sleep. But yeah, I feel like you're at peace now. Okay. You're making a final judgment call to just like be happy. This person's under judgment. For some of y'all, this person was married. They was in a whole relationship. Yeah, so that's over with. <laughs> okay, I feel like you dead in that relationship. So you guys, that is your reading. Those are your messages for August 6th, 2024. If this resonates with you, if this is your story, if you stay all the way to the end, if this helped, if you got some clarity out of this, and if you want to see me do more readings for you guys, make sure that you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on to all a L L. So every time I post a reading for you guys, you guys will be notified of when I am on. If you would like to book me for a private personal reading, that information will be in the description box down below. You can reach me at my email at Queen of Wands eleven eleven tarot at gmail.com. And if you would like to donate to the channel, my Cash App link is in the description box down below. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you guys so so much. Until next time. Bye, Libra. And I'll see y'all in the next reading. Bye.